Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and quite a few people have asked me to look at George Lehman's video. I've got like eight people who asked me to look at it. So I finally looked at it this morning, and people want to know what do I think of it, do I agree with him? And the interesting thing is, and yeah, I'll link George's video down below. The thing is, anyone who's read my various training programs that I've put out for free, and people who've listened to what I said should already know that I pretty much agree with George on this. I have specifically told you guys over and over there are no true rep ranges for hypertrophy or strength. That they are all useful tools and that the intelligent person knows how to utilize all of them towards their goals. Or use them at the appropriate times when you need to make certain adaptations in your training. And as far as using higher reps to develop strength, my intermediate strength program, you spend three weeks doing 10 reps, three weeks doing eight reps, three weeks doing five reps, and you drop down to triples. You really only hit low reps for three out of 12 weeks on it. And it's the same principle he's effectively talking about is the ability to increase workload over time with it and then adjusting rep ranges and weight in order to continue to progress over a period of months. And that's the whole idea behind it. And yeah, you absolutely do build strength. Strength training does nothing to do with rep range. Every rep range can build strength. You can build strength with 20 reps. You can build strength with one rep. As long as you're able to increase the weight on the bar, you've gotten strong. And some of the best power lifters in the world, people who have been world record holders, routinely use phases where they do 10 or 12 reps for things like squats, bench press, all of that. So this idea that, that it's one or the other, and the same with hypertrophy, you can get bigger doing singles, doubles, triples. It's been demonstrated in lab, it's been demonstrated in the real world. It's, it's a matter of understanding how and when to use these various tools. So do I agree with the, the overall message that George had here? Yeah, I, I think he's right. I think he and I are in perfect agreement. There's no conflict whatsoever between what I say and, and what George says there. As far as I could see just from watching the video, I've said many of the same things. I, I think it's a rational way to look at it. Everything he said is, is well demonstrated. We, we can see it in the real world all the time. And there's data suggesting all of it also. So yeah, this whole idea that strength training means a specific rep range, completely absurd, not based in reality. All right, guys, well, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it has been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time. But let me give you guys a bicep shot before I go. Oh, Mount Bicepius.